Well, hello, Jazzy Greens. Welcome back to another video. If this is your first time watching, my name is Liz, and I'm so happy to have you here. You are watching the Heaven's Pearls March Spring Collaboration. And this is hosted by all of us, Heaven's Pearls. We have Tablescapes by Candy. We have Debbie Bubbles, Simone, Creations by Simone. And we have um, the Grace Life DIY Home Decor and myself decorating with Jazzy Green. Now I'm gonna have the playlist and the links to all of our channels in the description box. So please check everybody's videos out and subscribe, okay? Now today I'm in my kitchen. I might change out my coffee station for spring and one of the corners over here and do a small little vignette. Let's go ahead and get started. Here's a little spring history. Before the 14th century, spring was called Lent in Old English. It was the time of year when plants started springing from the ground. After a century, this, the season was referred as springtime and later on shortened to spring. Spring is a season of renewal and rebirth, marking the transition from the cold, dark winter months to the warmer, brighter days of summer. It is the time of year when the natural world awakens from its slumber throughout the winter months, with flowers blooming, trees budding, and animals rising from their wintertime rest. In a lot of different cultures all throughout the world, the beginning of spring is a time of rejoice. And these celebrations typically involve some kind of festival or religious event. It is also a time for people to clean their homes, tend to their gardens, and engage in other activities that communicate a desire to begin a new and welcome change. Overall, spring is a time of hope and optimism because it reminds us that even after a long, cold winter, the world can be full of color, warmth, and vitality once again. This is especially true for those of us who live in areas that have harsh winters. I'll share with you a few fun facts of spring. Spring fever is a real syndrome. When the temperature rises during the warm spell after a long winter, there is a dilation of the blood vessels so blood can be carried to the body surface where heat can be lost quickly. People experience an energetic feeling when this happens. Benjamin Franklin was the first to propose daylight savings time in 1784. It wasn't fully implemented until the end of the Second World War. The first day of spring is called the Vernal Equidox. What does that stand for, you may ask? Vernal is Latin for spring, while Equidox is Latin for equal night. The first spring flowers are typically daffodils, if I'm pronouncing that right, dandelions, lilies, your tulips, iris, and lilacs, to name a few. Baby birds learn to sing during the spring. Although they are born with the ability to sing, they must learn the specific songs of their species. They often learn their songs within two months of being born. Wow, how nice. Arizona and Hawaii do not follow daylight savings. They already have enough sunlight and hot weather, <laughs> so it doesn't make sense to confuse the sleeping cycle of their residents. The birthstone for March is aquamarine. And finally, the birth flower for March is daffodil.
So in closing, I hope you guys have enjoyed watching and listening to what I shared with you. If you are new here, please consider subscribing to this channel and give me a big thumbs up and double tap your bell so that you will be notified of all my videos and you won't miss any of them. Please go on over to TikTok and follow me there and follow me on Instagram as well. And those links are in my description box. And I thank you guys so much. Thank you to all my faithful Jazzy Green families. I love you all. And I thank you all so much for watching this video. And please watch the playlist. And I thank you. And you guys have a blessed day. And I will see you next time. Bye.